Back pain is worse enough. And it's even worse if you get sciatica and even harder to sleep. So I'm gonna go through a couple of tips that just help just calm the lower back down if you're suffering from an acute episode of sciatica and just finding it difficult to sleep. Unfortunately, when you have a sciatica that originates from a disc problem, you know, these conditions can take weeks, months to heal. And so sleeping is so important to getting things healing. It's the only time that we, you know, we heal out, the body just recovers. So we need to get that sleep. A couple of re recommendations that I make. I always recommend patients to ice the area, all right? And especially before you go to bed, try and get two or three 15 minute rotations of icing around that area. What that's gonna do is just gonna calm the area down. It's gonna reduce the inflammation, reduce the blood flow to the area. It's mean, it means those pain receptors aren't gonna be as activated then as, as much and can just really just calm it down. The second thing that I always recommend when it comes to the sciatic pain at night is just make sure you get your body in the best position. What we wanna try and do is we wanna try and eliminate any twisting of the lower back at night. All right? We wanna keep the lower back and the pelvis square. This one's way out of whack. But we wanna keep it in this position like this when you're sleeping. So what I recommend to do that to try and avoid it from turning at night is to actually put a pillow in between your legs. So always just sit that in between the legs Lying on your side, uh, you may find that the shoulder will get a little bit sore, so flipping around during the night. What that'll do is it'll just keep everything square. It takes the pressure off the lower back. If you're not a side sleeper, or if you, you, know, you do have problems with the shoulders and you can't sleep on your side, sleeping on your back, which is an even better position, uh, you just gotta make sure the person next to you doesn't get woken up if you snore a little bit. But sleeping on your back and putting that pillow underneath your knees, and what that do, does is it just just takes a little bit of pressure off the lower back by bending the knees. Um, it takes pressure off the hip flexors and can really just settle the area down. It's so important that you guys sleep if you're getting sciatica. Um, if you follow these simple things, it can just make the night a little bit more bearable as the area heals and recovers. Hope this helps.